Forget Italy's most famous active volcano, Mount Vesuvius, which destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD. Italy's most dangerous volcanic threat right now is something you've probably never heard of, the Campi Flegrei, or Flegrean Fields. This unassuming plain, stretching 200 kilometers, 125 miles, beneath the Gulf of Naples and the islands of Capri and Ischia to the outskirts of Naples, is a giant caldera, or depression, left by a supervolcano some two million years ago. It's now home to several volcanoes that have been active for 39,000 years, many of them underwater. It's also home to villas, small villages, and shopping centers, as well as being home to 800,000 people in a hospital under construction. More than 500,000 locals live in what Italy's Civil Protection Agency calls the Red Zone, an area encompassing 18 towns that are at highest risk in the event of an eruption. Another 3 million Naples residents live just outside the caldera's eastern edge, according to the Civil Protection Agency. Campi Flegre's last major eruption was in 1538, creating a new volcano in the bay. Seismic activity in the area has been increasing since December 2022, according to Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, and experts fear the volcano could reawaken after several generations of dormancy. The densely populated area, less than 50 kilometers 31 miles, from Vesuvius, is prone to a seismic phenomenon known as Brady Seism, defined by a gradual cycle of uplift and subsidence. The last time the area experienced such activity was in 1984, when the ground rose 3.5 meters 11.5 feet, before slowly sinking, accompanied by seismic activity similar to what is happening in the area now. Currently in a state of positive Brady season, as the ground moves upward, the entire volcanic zone is also experiencing a surge in earthquakes that have rattled nerves and sent residents running for safety in the streets. In September, the strongest earthquake in 40 years struck the region, and that magnitude 4.2 quake was followed by a similar quake a few days later. So far in 2023, Campi Flegre has recorded more than 3,450 earthquakes, 1,118 of them in August alone. That's more than triple the total for the previous year, according to INGV data. More than 500 earthquakes struck in October, the strongest of which was a magnitude 4.0, followed by dozens of aftershocks. A supervolcano is a volcano that has ejected more than 240 cubic miles of material and reached the highest threat level of 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The VEI measures how much debris is ejected, at what height, and how long an eruption lasts. Yellowstone, which erupted 2.1 million years ago, had one of the largest eruptions ever known. Recent eruptions from other famous supervolcanoes, including Long Valley in California, Toba in Indonesia and Campi Flegre, have all been of similar magnitude. Scientists have records of activity at Campi Flegre going back 2,000 years. Pillars at the Roman Temple of Serapis in the town of Pozzuoli in the center of the caldera, excavated in the 18th century, show evidence of holes made by mollusks, suggesting they were once underwater. The temple's base is connected to the sea by a series of underground tunnels, and the rise and fall of the ground caused by bradycardia has allowed water to flood and then drain away from the building, allowing seismic observations to be made over time. In 2016, the local government designated the Campi Flegre area as yellow under its warning system, the second of four levels that go from green to red to indicate the danger to residents from ground movement.
Italy's Civil Protection Agency said in October that it would move parts of the area to the next level, orange, given the intensity of the recent activity. INGV must now approve the level change, which it is expected to do as it initially petitioned the Civil Protection Agency for the move.